In this video, I show you the ribbons of DigiPara Lift Designer. Let's get started. Let's start with the Start tab. The ribbon group Standard appears in every ribbon tab. With the Start page, you get back to the Start page. The Design mode is used to hide the shaft materials, for example, to select wall openings directly. Next to that, you can open and save projects and delete selected objects. In the middle, you see the ribbon group Drawing view, where you can change drawing appearance settings. In the last ribbon group, you can select which docking windows should be displayed. The second tab is the Project tab. In the ribbon group Project are the items Main Project Data, where you can find a clear summary of the BIM components and their properties, as well as project data of the created elevator. The result is then displayed in the lower left corner of the software. Next to the main project data, you see the cabin configurator, where you can edit the cabin interior. The last in the group is the group and shaft configurator, with which you can edit the shaft, the machine room, the material or the floor level settings. The next ribbon group is the Inspect. Here you can recalculate the project when you've done changes in the project, get a calculation report by clicking at results and measure the distance. At the end, there is the ribbon group Selection Mode, where you can choose whether you want to select components or single profiles. Let's go to the next tab, Sheet. Here you can add and remove a sheet and display the sheet properties. In the next ribbon group, you can load and save custom sheet templates. And here, almost the same only for few frame templates. The ribbon group Sheet Overlay allows additional editing via AutoCAD. In the last ribbon group, you can change the drawing language. Next, we'll take a look at the View Frame tab. In the first ribbon group, you have the options to add and remove a view frame or a view frame annotation. Here, you can set up the view frame type and here the direction. In the ribbon group Component Visibility, you can select which components should be hidden or displayed in the activated view frame. In the next group, you can add component annotations and adapt the component representation view frame selection. In the last group, you can change the level of development, which I show you in the training C1. The fifth tab is about the dimensions. Here you can select which component type dimensions you want to see or not. In the next group, you have several options to change dimension settings and in the last group, you can set up own dynamic dimensions by using points. Let's take a look at the Visualize tab. Here you have the possibility to get the 3D view and the 3D object settings docking windows. In the Scene group, you can change the scene settings like the light intensity or mirror effects for cabins. In the next group, you can adjust the position of the 3D view on your drawing to the 3D docking window view. With the Cut Car Design function, you have a good view of the cabin from every perspective. The last ribbon group offers you the possibility to export your views as for example an image. The next ribbon tab is the Cat Models tab. In the front group, you can add a cat model and set up the position. In the middle group, you can assign an automatic adjustment of the parameters of your cat model depending on the parameters of the lift designer component. In the last two groups, you can get the CAD model's docking window and simplify the model for a better performance. The eighth tab is the Develop BIM Components tab. Here you can develop your own BIM component for your custom BIM library and set up rules. In the middle, you can add profiles and characteristic points. In the back groups, you can set up the position and save the BIM component. At the Export tab, you have several options to export your 2D drawings and 3D elevator models, as well as BIM exports like IFC, and LDBIM for Elevator Architect and Autodesk Revit. In the BIM Export ribbon group, you can select and define specific BIM properties that will be included in the export later. A visit to our C1 training offers you deeper information on this topic. Last but not least, I'll show you the Options tab, where you can activate your software, get the Quick Help docking window and information about DigiPara and your current Lyft Designer version. Thanks for watching!